attitude adjustment. This is all about goals, dreams, courage, confidence, taking action, and building a life that you love. So I'm always here to wake you up and get you going. But today I have a question for you. Back when you were a little girl, what did you dream about? What kind of life did you wanna have when you got older? What kind of woman did you wanna become? So back then, did you think to yourself, when I grow up, I wanna spend 90% of my time obsessing about food. When I grow up, I wanna feel so ashamed of my body that I hide from social gatherings. When I grow up, I'll be sure to avoid all cameras so that no one can see what I looked like. When I grow up, I'll be sure to weigh my food and calculate calories religiously. When I grow up, I will never ever wear a bikini because unless I'm a size six, a four or two, why would I? When I grow up, I'll postpone fun experiences until someday later, once my stomach is flatter. Is that what you thought to yourself when you were a little girl? I bet the answer is hell no. That's not what you wanted. That wasn't the plan. All of the shame, the weight drama, the dieting, the hiding, the insecurity, the body drama, you weren't born with that. You didn't believe all that crap when you were four years old. All of that came later. So I want you to think about the beautiful girl that you were back at age four, five, six, way back then. Back when you loved your body, back when you loved to run and play, back when you really enjoyed your food, back when you ate when you were hungry and stopped when you weren't, back when you loved apple slices and macaroni and cheese and brownies and sweet potatoes and raisins, back when food was just food, not something to be feared or avoided or controlled. And back when you didn't even know what a calorie was. Back when you dreamed about growing up and becoming a doctor, a teacher, a singer, a vet, a princess, a queen. You've probably heard the question, what advice would you give to your younger self? But what about the opposite? What advice would your younger self give you today? If you could go back in time and meet yourself at age five or six and have conversations with that little girl, what would she say to you? Maybe she would tell you, it's okay to eat ice cream. Maybe she would tell you, let's go outside and swing on the swings. Maybe she would tell you, you're so beautiful. Or maybe she would say, I love you. That little girl, she's got some pretty great ideas and she knows what is true. And she's still there, she never left. She's still inside of you. So here's my challenge for you. In the coming weeks, if you find yourself struggling with body stuff, food stuff, weight stuff, if you feel unattractive, if you feel like you don't deserve nice experiences or nice things, like you don't deserve to be seen, I want you to have a conversation with your inner six-year-old girl. So instead of looking for weight loss advice online, talk to your inner six-year-old. What would she say to you? She'd probably say, huh, what's a diet? That sounds dumb. I don't wanna do that. Let's go walk the puppy. And then later, let's play dress up, all right? Also, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna be a singer one day. She's got the right ideas. She's the one you should listen to. So go hang out with your inner six-year-old girl and let her remind you what it feels like to love your body, what it feels like to love just being you.